We continue to monitor a developing story from Johnson County, Nebraska this morning. That's right. Chaos breaks out at Tecumseh State Correctional Institution, leaving two guards and two inmates hurt. Jenna James is in Tecumseh this morning. She joins us now live with the latest. Dave Cerise, one of the big things going on just in the past 10 minutes since we last spoke, in fact, fire has now broken out a larger fire than what we saw earlier on the maybe on the right of your screen you might see a little bit of a flicker that's those smaller fires but right in the middle there that is a larger fire that has broken out just in the last 10 minutes thick black smoke coming from the Tecumseh State Correctional Institute now as you both said this all started yesterday with riots take a look at the timeline of what we know at 2 30 p.m. yesterday there was an initial disturbance near one of nine housing units here now guards tried to break that up and in the process one inmate was shot and two guards were assaulted. Now all have been checked out and do not have life threatening injuries. But after that, we're told smaller fires broke out much like the one that we saw here just moments ago and more scuffles take place at these different housing units. In those later fights, one other inmate was hit by a rubber projectile. That person was also taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Now we know that multiple crews and agencies were called out here to control the inmates and try to investigate what's going on. But as you can see, those fires are still going on out here. Now, at last check two weeks ago, the center was over capacity with 1,008 inmates. Now, this correctional facility is supposed to house only about 960. As of right now, it's unclear just how many of those inmates are took part in that riot, but we have seen a lot of guards walking around outside. In fact, there might be some inmates standing outside as well, but again, we're just trying to confirm any information that we can for you, and we will update you on air and online as soon as we can. Reporting live, Jenna James, WOWT 6 News.